Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. <laughs> As you can see the sun's coming up and I wanted to do a uh, another memory verse by the pond. So <laughs> the pond's doing good. Victoria's out and about and it's a uh, it's a slow morning. There's a lot of fog down there and uh, the sun is coming out up here. So if you want to turn to 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 25 is the memory verse that we're going to be talking about today. We're going to start in verse 23. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23. Being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible, by the word of God which liveth and abideth forever. The word of God that liveth and abideth forever. It's going to be key for the memory verse. Verse 24. For all flesh is of grass, and, of, and all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, and the flower fadeth away. Here it is, 25. But the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word which the, by the gospel is preached unto you. Okay, that's a memory verse we need to get memorized. But the word of the Lord endureth forever, ever, the first part. There is a perfect written word of God today in English, the King James Bible. But it's not just as important to know that there's a perfect written word of God. It says here, and this is the word by which the gospel is preached unto you. All right, brothers and sisters in Christ, let's get over a little bit. Right in the sun. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I've said this before. There's people that say that you can get saved off Bible perversions. I disagree with that. Why? Because the true plan of salvation can only be found in the King James Bible. Someone had to come along, brothers and sisters of Christ, and preach the true plan of salvation out of the King James Bible to a person while they were using a Bible perversion. And they got saved off the, the plan of salvation from the King James Bible, but they started out using Bible perversions. But as we read there, okay, by the word of God, we're born again by the word of God which liveth and abideth forever. Eventually God's going to get someone who's using a Bible perversion, newly saved, he's going to get them over to the King James Bible, God's perfect written word. They're going to have a love of the truth. They're going to be truly born again. The Holy Spirit's going to be in them. And when they see this book, they're going to say, that's it. That's the word of God. King James Bible. Okay. And what's going on is you see in a lot of these Babel buildings, if you go about history, and I'm not a big fan of saying history is the as the foundation, it's the Word of God, but for this situation, please bear with me. What happened was is a lot of the uh, a lot of the old churches used King James Bibles. So what happened? They were preaching the true plan of salvation out of the King James Bible, repentance towards God and faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Biblical repentance, for godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of, but the sorrows of the world worketh death. Right. Godly sorrow for your personal sins, in other words, you're sorry towards God, your Creator, the God of the whole universe, created all things, you have sorrow in your heart for your sins that you've sinned against Him. You understand the consequences of those sins, that's part of why you're sorry. Okay, not just for the consequences, but you understand the consequences of sin. You're going to go to hell for sinning against God, your Creator. And you believe in the finish, finish, we always say this, the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. In other words, God manifest in the flesh came and died on the cross. It was God's blood that was shed on the cross to pay for the sins of the world. You have to go to the cross to get your sins paid for. Okay, but it's God manifest in the flesh. I didn't believe this when I got saved. It was God. Jesus is God, and it was God's blood that was shed on the cross. His death, burial, and resurrection proving that He is God fully and completely. He was perfect. He was innocent. Only God is perfect and innocent when it comes to sin. Okay? It's important when we say finished work of Jesus on the cross, it's God manifest in the flesh that died on the cross. He became sin who knew no sin. And the Bible says that with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. You're to confess both your repentance and your belief in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross. Not right now. Not right now. Stay. Um, okay, and then the Bible says, For shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You ask God to save you. This is the true plan of salvation. So these Babel buildings... 
church buildings of the past, they were teaching the true plan of salvation because they were using King James Bibles. But what happened, They came. some people came along, infiltrated, and said, you know what, we're going to start bringing in, you can use King James Bibles, and we're going to bring in Bible perversions. And they got this book out of people's hands and put an NIV in their hand, a new, new King James in their hand, and then eventually get an NIV in their hand, a new American Standard in their hand. But what happened was is the plan of salvation kept being preached that they got from the King James Bible. Why? Because when they start putting the Bible versions in your hand, they don't promote you to stay in this book and know this book like they used to with the King James Bible. With these Bible versions, they say, well, yeah, read your Bible. Yeah, it's okay to read your Bible. But they don't push you hardcore to know that book top to bottom. Why? Because you'd find out it's a fake and it's a fraud. The NIV book is so satanic and wicked. The NASB. All of them. They don't want you knowing that book. So what's going on is you've got people that are preaching this plan of salvation and these Babel buildings that come from here that you can only find here in the King James Bible even though they're using NIVs. And that's what I believe has happened over time. And even when you go to these um, buildings that have pretty much gotten away from the King James completely, that's when they start really perverting the gospel where repentance is just going from unbelief to belief, so then they take repentance out completely. But you always ask me, can someone get saved that's using a new version? Absolutely. Can they get saved by that new version? Absolutely not. Someone had to come along and preach the true plan of salvation found in the King James Bible. What did we read there? But the word of God endureth forever. And this is the word which by the gospel is preached unto you. The only gospel of true biblical repentance is... Belief in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, confessing both in prayer and asking God to save you, can only be found in the King James Bible. And there's a changed life after salvation. The true gospel. The change, I call it the changed life gospel. Jesus is dead. The old man is dead. Jesus is raised. The new man is raised. And the new man isn't just going from unbelief to belief. It's a new creature in Christ Jesus. All those sins that you were sorry for before you got saved... God starts showing you His Word and starts working on your life and you start changing. Okay, get that out of your life. Okay, you need to be doing this. You need to be praying more. You need to pray without ceasing. Uh, 2 Timothy 2.15, you need to study to show thyself approved. Peter Ruckman always kept pushing time and time again that people don't know this book like they should because the Bible perversionists don't want you knowing their Bible perversion books like you should. Okay, but we always push, you need to know this book, the King James Bible. This is our foundation. You need to read it every day. You need to study it every day. It's God's perfect written word. So when you get that verse memorized, but the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word by which the gospel is preached unto you, let it remind you that <clears throat> this is the book that had the true plan of salvation that you got saved out of. Whether you started out, because I, I had a new King James Version, NIV, and I can't remember, I had the message, and I had like another version, I, pretty sure I thought I had another version, but I had a few ver Bible perversions and they all taught something different. And I didn't know those books because I was taught it's not about reading the Bible, it's about going to these Bible buildings and it's a social club and I was on the worship team playing the bass guitar and it was all fleshly music, it was all like putting on a big show and we're all having fun, flesh service, flesh service. It's not about knowing the book, it's not knowing, about knowing the Word of God as far as the Word. If you want to know who the real God is, the real Jesus Christ, you got to know the Word. I was worshiping a fake Jesus in these Babel buildings. Why? Because I didn't know His Word. I didn't have it. Remember, brothers and sisters in Christ, but the Word of the Lord endureth forever. Forever. And this is the Word which by the Gospel is preached unto you. Keep this book, the King James Bible, if you are newly saved, and you got saved off of true biblical repentance, uh, belief in the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, confessing both the prayer and asking God to save you, and you're using a Bible perversion, please look into the Bible version issue. I'll link it again below this video. I looked into it, watched video after video. I didn't just learn it from one man. I learned the Bible version issue, starting out with Brother Brian at King James Video Ministries. I learned a little bit from... Um, uh, David Daniels, before I couldn't support Chick Tracks anymore. Uh, Sam Gipp, I learned from one of his books, The Answer Book, and then I can't support him anymore because he's gone off, you know, fallen away. Um, and then Peter Ruckman, 
So there's men out there. Don't just learn from one man, but there's multiple men out there that are preaching and teaching that this is the perfect written word of God, and they're showing the history of this book. They're showing that it comes from two different parts of the world, the King James Bible and all the other Bible perversions. Please get your King James Bible and start reading it every day and make sure you know this book top to bottom. Well, that'll take forever. You got your whole life. People say, well, it just will take too long. You got your whole life to live for Jesus Christ. When you truly get saved and born again, you want to live for Jesus Christ. You got your whole life to keep reading this book over and over and over and asking God to show you more and more and more until you know this book. So when someone comes along with a Bible perversion or someone comes along that wants to uh, add to or subtract from this book because there's a lot of false teachers out there, you, God will show you through the Holy Spirit because you know this book, you'll be able to see right through them. So please, please, get some of these verses memorized as we're going through these memory verses. Make sure you're hiding God's word in your heart. Remember what it says on this? It says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Psalms 119.11, King James Version. I have a plaque on my, uh, brother put it on this bench. Hide God's word in your heart. Memorize scripture, hide them in your heart, and live them. If you truly believe that scripture, that the word of the Lord endureth forever, then you're going to make sure you have God's perfect written word in your hands. And I have it. It's the King James Bible. So grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all, and my love for you which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Thank you for watching.